Tranquility Base here. The Eagle has landed. The Galactic Info Experience. How long is a bee's life? So a worker bee, and we're talking about honeybees, western honeybees, the ones you see me keep, uh, the lifespan of a female worker bee varies throughout the year. So in the spring and summer, when the bees are working their hardest, the female worker bees will only live about six weeks. In the winter, when they're not doing quite as much, and when we need more bees to make it through the winter, they'll live a little bit longer and they'll live about six months. And their bodies actually change in the winter. The bees that are born later in the year and need to make it through the winter will have more fat bodies on them so that they can make it through the dearth when there's nothing in bloom and when bees are living off the honey that they collected or stored in their hive earlier in the year. And how long does the queen live? The queen can live the longest. She can live a about five years, that's on the longer end. Most queens will live a little bit shorter, but uh, she can live significantly longer than all the other bees in the hive. And then we have the worker bees um, who live about six weeks, six months. The queen bee can live up to five years, and the drone bees will live about six months, the male bees. And what is the ratio of male bees to female bees? They're, uh, a honeybee colony is about 95% female. And the amount of male bees can actually fluctuate throughout the year. So when we need male bees around to mate with a queen, and they'll mate with a queen, not their queen, but when we need more male bees around, the colony will produce more male bees. In the winter, when there aren't as many resources available to the bees, the female bees will kick all the male bees out of the hive, and they'll either starve or freeze to death. Mm. So right now, there are no male bees in, in most hives um, the and these bees that came along with me today there's there's not a single male honeybee there they starve to death they starve to death they have no way of foraging they don't do the work of bees so most people have never seen a male honeybee before and that's just because male honeybees don't are out in the world doing the work of bees they stay in the hive or they leave and they go to drone congregation areas to mate with a queen but you know, they're not going to be on a flower or in your wine glass or whatnot. Harsh life for a male bee. But they also don't have to do a lot of work in the hive. You know, they they don't forage for food. They don't build the hive. They don't have wax glands. They don't even have stingers. They don't defend the hive. The male bees, when they're inside the hive, what what's their specific job? Like, what kind of work are they doing when they're in there? They're really not doing a lot of work. Just hanging out, eating? There's some re research will show that they're, you know, contributing to the heating of the hive, but um, they're really not doing a lot of work, even when you see them in the colony. You know, not only can you distinguish them because they look different from the female, female worker bees, they're larger than the female worker bees, but they're not doing anything. They're, they're walking around different, you know, they're kind of fumbling and bumbling around, so... Um, they really don't have a lot of a lot of purpose, and which is why there aren't that many of them. You know, we have to keep in mind they only make up about five percent of the population, maybe ten, sometimes zero. So um, there aren't that many male honeybees, and I always love sharing with people that they probably have never seen one. So if you're ever near an observation hive or have the opportunity to go into a hive with a beekeeper, you know, I encourage folks to do that and make sure you ask to see a see a male honeybee. Roger, understand. Go for landing, three thousand feet. Altitude 1600. Eagle looking great. 35 degrees, 750, coming down to 23. 